Okay, now we're gonna do maintenance. After 100 hours, we wanna clean our machine. Here you'll see on the gauge, it has to, sometimes it becomes a little bit foggy from the soap, the lye being in it. We want that to be clear. That's why we're cleaning it. So we're gonna clean it till this goes clear. And we're gonna do it at least three times. This is like when we first got the machine and we cleaned it and we washed it. The first thing is we're gonna take off the tower cap. So we're taking this off, right? So we took it off here. And then you'll notice a ring here. Don't lose this. We're gonna take our machine and dump it in this bucket. All right, and you got your glasses and your gloves because in case it splashes. I'm going very slow, doing a little at a time. Okay. So we're gonna let that really drip out till we don't hear it anymore. And it's settling in. Now here's our lye solution. And you see there's a little sediment at the bottom. And the more we do this, the more yellow it's gonna get. And we'll, we'll show you what that looks like. Now, the same container that I used, I'm gonna run this water so it's nice and hot. All right, so I'm gonna fill this. Make sure the water's hot, it has to be hot, hot, hot. cap on and again go slow now you could take your goggles off for this because you're dealing with water but I keep it on because I'm going to be putting the lye back in when you clean the machine you know just rotate it just to make sure you're getting everything okay And you're just gonna let it really come out. And you'll see some sediment coming out of it. That's good, because you're cleaning it. So I do this three times at least. But wait till all the water is out. Okay, then we're gonna put this back. I wanna turn it on now on my third rinse. I wanna have it on, right? because now I'm gonna watch that it's cleaning that, that that little thing is going up, right? So again, hot water, get it real hot. Fill this up. Take my funnel, I'm gonna pour it in. See, and it's filling it up. And you get to actually see where it's going, right? So this is my third rinse. I'd probably do about two or three more. Now, I'm gonna unplug it, because I'm dealing with water, I'm at the sink, just for safety. And again, tilt it. And then just lean it or hold it till it all comes out. Okay, then we're gonna put it back on here. All right, I'll wipe her down. And now I'm getting ready to put my lye solution back in. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my gloves and my goggles on. Here's the bucket that we put it in, you know, so it could lean on it. Take one of your mason jars, right? And we're going to pour, this was the lye that was in the machine, we're going to pour it back inside the mason jar, right? Now I'm going to pour this back in, but I just want to bring to your attention. You see how clear that is? That's in the beginning. Over time, your lye is going to turn to this color. Now this is many years old, and you're using the same lye over and over again. In fact, it's actually better and more efficient once the lye kind of, uh, um, you know, matures and conditions for the machine. So don't say, oh my God, it's yellow, we got to throw it out. And you don't want to, every time you maintain it, put new stuff in, right? So this is good, but you'll notice there's a brown sediment at the bottom. And that's sludge, right, from all the impurities and that. So now you don't want to pour that in your machine. So what we'll do once we have this, and it has the sludge in it, Sit it, let it rest, 
let it all settle, because if I move this a little bit, this thing's gonna go all cloudy and gray, right? When you have newly mixed electrolyte uh, solution like we just did here, uh, that would normally go into the machine to make it efficient, it's going to be essentially transparent, a transparent white, no color at all. As the electrolyte is used, it's gonna take on a yellow color, first a slight yellow tint, and then eventually a, a deep yellow color. And, but that happens over months, and I call that conditioned electrolyte. As the electrolyte becomes conditioned, it gets yellower and yellower, and it actually gets more efficient. So it's a really good idea to keep saving your electrolyte. When you're pouring it out, save it. Don't just pour it out and then mix up a new batch of electrolyte. The electrolyte itself becomes more and more efficient over time as it gets conditioned. So we'll set aside this new electrolyte for a moment and we'll bring in this electrolyte that's been used a little bit. It's come out of a machine relatively fresh and it has something in it that I wanted to show. Uh, there's a little bit of sludge but more black particles and I will just kind of shake those up into solutions so you can see them better. Those are construction debris most of the time. Those little black particles happen when the machine is first being cleaned. This one is old electrolyte solution. It's going to be dark brown, maybe with a little bit of reddish tint, and it will look like mud. That's just the sludge. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the electrolyte solution itself. It just has to settle. Now, I have lye solutions that I mixed in 1986, and I'm still using it. The lye solution does not go bad. You may have to add a little lye from time to time, but it's not go bad. And once it settles, it'll look nice and yellow like this. And then this yellow solution is what you will take with your syringe and suck it out. You won't pour it into the machine because it'll disturb the sludge at the bottom. You don't want to do that. So you'll suck it out and you squirt it into the machine. You don't want to get try to get clarified uh, solution with a filter. There's two reasons for that. The first one is the sludge is too fine. It'll go through virtually any filter that isn't like reverse osmosis or something. And the second thing is most of the filters, one way or another, have some sort of contamination. And you do not want the contamination in your electrolyte. You have to do everything you can to keep the electrolyte to be pure lye and water, nothing else. The best way we've discovered over time to get an absolutely clean and pure lye solution is just to simply let it sit. Just let it sit. Even this one here that's been sitting just a few minutes, you can already see it's starting to clarify itself. In a few hours, call it a day, two days on the outside, it'll look like this again. You take your lye solution and our syringe, which has a little pipe on it, you're gonna put this into this one and slowly you'll fill it and you'll put the little hose in our hole here and slowly put it in, right? And then you'll do it. Now when you get down to that sediment, if you see any of that sediment going in here, you're not gonna to wanna to use it. And if it does go in there, take off this little tube, right? Off your up thing and give it a rinse, right? And then leave a little bit of the sediment. For now, what we're gonna do is, we got it clear, because this is our first rinse, and it takes a while to get yellow, but it'll get yellow. And we're gonna put our funnel on, and I'm gonna slowly pour this in. Now, you've got your lye back in. Your meter's on here, right? So, now we're gonna put on the tower cap back on, okay? So we put that little seal there, right? And then we put her back on. We line it up and just do that. And you don't want it too tight, you know, tight, you know, to the touch, but you don't want it so you can't get it off. I'm gonna take the distilled water and put it in our tower because I'm gonna want our little ball to go all the way up to full. We take our syringe, right, and slowly pull it up and it's filling with water. Then I take it and try not to pull on that tower, right? Just want to go straight in. Our line goes to full. 
and I'm watching it. I don't want to overfill it, right? Once you're getting around here, go slowly because you don't want to overfill, right? Because there's lots of parts inside that it's going through and it's finding its level. So it's almost there, right? Well, it's see now as I waited, it actually went to the full line. If by chance you go over full, right? That light's gonna go ding, 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 ding. It's gonna light up and let you know and you have a little sound which we saw earlier. And what you do is you're gonna take your syringe and this little tip part, it's got a little clasp here. You're gonna put that on the tip of your syringe. You're gonna take your tower off, same way, right? You're not gonna take this bottom part, you're gonna unscrew it as if you were maintaining it, right? You're gonna take that off and then you're gonna take your little tube and you're gonna put it inside and you'll pull it out, right? and then wait for it to go to your full. Then put your cap the same way back on and you're good to go.